Here I'm given data about the total cost associated with purchasing tickets for a concert and I'm asked to draw a good graph on the grid below. So let's start by understanding our input or horizontal axis and our output or vertical axis. So input is number of tickets and I am going to write that here, number of tickets. And then the output or vertical axis is the total cost in dollars. In dollars, I'm going to put that right there. Now I need to decide how far apart my tick marks are on each axis. So the input axis runs from zero, essentially. I could think of it starting at zero, even though I don't have any data there. Um, zero to 20. There are 20 marks. So I am going to make each of those a mark of one. And then I'm just going to draw in every five. So one, two, three, four, five, just so we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, something to reference as we go along. Oops, one more. One, two, three, four, five. It's hard to count these. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That gives us 20. That'll spread our data out very nicely. Now, the total cost data, the first value is 625. So I don't want to have a whole bunch of dead space here and then start piling in values way up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my um, vertical from 500 to 2500. So that's a distance of 2000 because my largest output or total cost is 2300. So 2500, pretty close. So 2000 and then I'm splitting that up over 20 tick marks. So that's a distance of 100 for each tick mark. So see what happens here. I'm going to draw two little horizontal lines to indicate that all of this is dead space up until, and I can really put um, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So there would be 1,000. So each of these are 100, starting at, really starting at 500. So I'm just saying that there's a whole bunch of dead space there that isn't going to impact the graph. So I'm just sort of shifting the vertical axis so that I can see uh, my points better. So then I'm going to label 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This would be 1,500. 5, this would be 2,000 and 2,500. So once I do that, then I'm going to identify each ordered pair with a letter. And then I'm going to plot them and label the letter on the graph. So go ahead and pause the video. Take your time and try and plot these as best you can. Then make a decision as to whether or not you're going to connect all of those points. Then restart the video and make sure you're on the right track. So here's what your points should look like, plotted and labeled. And as far as whether or not they should be connected, what I'm going to ask myself is, could I sell tickets, a number of tickets that are anywhere on this axis? I could certainly sell 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. separated by 1, but I can't sell 5.5 or 5.2 or 10.1. I can't sell the tickets in between. And so I'm going to make the decision not to connect these points into a solid line because these data really are what are called discrete. They're just individual data points that we cannot connect all the values in between. So we'll just leave them separate. 